You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Tuesday, August 4th. It is feels like fall outside. It's it is very strange. As I like to call it, Augtober. Yeah, and then we hit September and it's like summer <laughs> round two. <laughs> it is. I think it happens every year. <laughs> Yes, these are the October days, as I it's like true. to call them. These are great days to I get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Long sleeves and long pants on on mm-hmm. my bike this morning. Super weird. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember how to dress for this weather. But you know what fall weather reminds me of? School? Yes. Yeah, I know. Returning to school. Yeah. It's back to school time, isn't it? Uh, yes, it For is. many people. And what that looks like this year is um, maybe different than what uh, what you were anticipating this fall might look like. And, yeah. and so options. We like to talk about options, uh, especially when it comes to Lutheran education. Mm-hmm. Um, some good options. So we're going to talk about uh, online Lutheran school this year. I'm, look, I'm really excited about that. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us this morning, Mrs. Jocelyn Benson. She's head teacher at Wittenberg Academy. Jocelyn, thanks for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. It's wonderful to be with you. So for our listeners not familiar with Wittenberg Academy, which I think we've talked about it quite a bit here, but uh, for those who (laughs) perhaps haven't caught that conversation, share with us what is Wittenberg Academy? Well, Wittenberg Academy is the only completely online classical Lutheran school that we have. Uh, In other words, all of our scholars are online. We don't have some in a classroom and some joining elsewhere. We are 100% online. So what does that actually look like uh, for the classes, for the teachers? What does that structure look like? So for our sixth through 12th grade uh, classes, those are faculty taught classes. And uh, we have uh, a variety of, of classes and ways that we can partner with and support families or that we can partner with and support brick and mortar schools I know there are a lot of schools out there that are are looking for support and and we are in a position to come in and and help and support. And so we have um, online classrooms for our scholars and those same scholars meet with their teacher and fellow classmates live every single week. And so you have that asynchronous and synchronous component um, to support the learning of of sixth through 12th graders. So then who attends Wittenberg Academy? Is it, uh, is it strictly online education or is it some uh, that, that use it to supplement or, or how does that work? Absolutely. So uh, we can serve uh, first time uh, homeschool families or long time homeschool families. As I just mentioned, we can also serve uh, brick and mortar schools to support them um, either long term or short term. There are a lot of things, as you guys mentioned, that are up in the air right now. <laughs> and so sometimes having uh, someone who can come in and say, hey, we know how to do this. Let us help. Uh, Wittenberg Academy is definitely positioned uh, to do that. Some of our scholars are full-time, meaning that they take all of their classes through Wittenberg Academy, and some are part-time, meaning they just take a class here or there, and they're also studying um, elsewhere or using other curricula outside of of Wittenberg Academy. But either way, all of our scholars, 6th through 12th grade, um, have access to the Wittenberg Academy community that they that they will find themselves part of uh, once they are enrolled. How long has Wittenberg Academy been uh, in existence and and teaching? We are headed into our ninth academic year, which is crazy to think about that this (laughs) adventure has been going that long, but uh, we're already thinking about uh, year 10 and uh, thanking God for uh, his, his provision and his grace in allowing us to serve families already for almost 10 years. Wow, that's exciting. God that be is. praised. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So some might think, you mentioned that, that Wittenberg Academy is a classical Lutheran school and happens to be online. Some might think that that's an odd combination, a classical school and something old, long-time heritage, and modern technology being (laughs) online, might think that's an odd combination and maybe wouldn't work well together. What's your response to that? 
To that, I would say, it's been done. Come join us. <laughs> so my response would just be, boo. <laughs> uh, but that's not an overly helpful answer. Right, right. I, I realize that. <laughs> so um, so more, more helpful is to kind of back up one step and think about um, the purpose of education. And then once we've established that, to think about, okay, so how could we possibly do that online? And so the purpose of education is to make humans more human. Well, that's not overly helpful either, except it gets us thinking um, that uh, our, our purpose is, number one, um, to, to help our scholars um, remain in the faith, right? We want them to remain in the church, but we also um, in that want them to be equipped to be of service to their neighbor in all of their various vocations. Um, and within all of that, um, we need to give them ears to hear the faith. And so we need to be giving them the language that is used by the faith um, so that they can, um, they can fully embrace and interact with and um, and enjoy everything that goes with a life of faith here in the church militant. Um, and I use that word enjoy broadly because we know that um, sometimes life in the church uh, militant, in fact, Jesus has promised um, that we will have trouble. And so we need to equip our scholars um, to stay firm in the faith as they serve their neighbor this side of heaven. Um, and so if we look at that as the overall goal of education, which it should be, right? Um, this is what we want for our children. Then we can say, okay, can we do this online? And I would obviously in a biased fashion <laughs> say, yes, we can do this online. Um, but let me just take a couple moments to explain how uh, we might do that. Um, so first, going back to that idea of, of making humans more human, you know, and, and being all that God has, has given us to be in relationship with one another, um, humans communicate in written and spoken word. Okay. So even online, we communicate in written and spoken word, um, using timeless methods and materials. So we read old stuff. Um, we do read some new new writings, but mostly old writings because they have stood the test of time and they've equipped centuries of scholars uh, to remain faithful in their faith and in their service of, of neighbor in their various vocations. So we can do that online, right? We can, we can write and we can speak. Um, we do this asynchronously in uh, forums and in writing papers and learning to think well and form uh, complete and judicious thoughts. And so all of this can certainly take place online. And I, I would almost say, um, just as a side note, especially in our day and age, when so much communication does happen online, allowing students allowing scholars the opportunity to cultivate their their voice and their opportunity to communicate well online is really a side bonus of learning online just because so much um interactivity happens in that um in that forum and so so we read and we write um but we also uh, we also interact face to face. Uh, in in our case at Wittenberg Academy, we utilize Zoom. Um, some some folks uh, these days we've we've kind of made a joke of the fact that that we were zooming before Zoom was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems everyone's on Zoom now. But uh, we've we've been there for quite some time, and using that opportunity, that platform, to bring scholars together face to face. Um, so we are doing things, we're using modern tools, certainly, um, but we are using those modern tools to accomplish things that have been done by teachers and scholars for millennia. 
And one way that I like to say this, and it's, it's kind of a, a 50,000 foot view of, of what we do. I like to say that we give scholars that which endures by means of that which has endured that they may endure. And so this theme of, of endurance really is, um, you know, we're, we're harnessing modern tools to be able to give them things that, that have endured so that they may endure not only in their life here in the church militant, but also um, once God calls them to the church triumphant. We're learning about Wittenberg Academy, an online classical Lutheran school. We have more to learn about from Mrs. Jocelyn Benson, head teacher at Wittenberg Academy. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Eddie Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. This is Pastor Mark Azil, the LCMS Director of Campus Ministry and the Chancellor of LCMSU, inviting you to join us right here on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. in the Student Union. If you can't make it, Student Union is always available as a podcast at kfuo.org. Learn more about LCMSU at lcmsu.org. And remember, college is tough. You need Jesus. We'll help. Wednesday afternoon at 2 on KFUO. I'm World Lutheran News Digest host Kip Allen. The LCMS Life Ministry has a new director, Deaconess Tiffany Manor. She's my guest on World Lutheran News Digest Wednesday at 2.30 and again Saturday at 9.30 on Worldwide KFUO, the messenger of good news. You're a miracle. You know that, right? A living, breathing one-of-a-kind miracle. You were created to stand apart, to share your gifts in the service of others, to make an uncommon impact in a common world. And at Concordia University, it's our mission to help you do that, to live uncommon. To learn more about Concordia, go to cuw.edu. <laughs> Welcome back to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Before the break, we were talking uh, with Jocelyn Benson, who is head teacher with Wittenberg Academy, about all of the, uh, the really fascinating things about having a classical Lutheran education online, uh, how those actually go hand in hand with each other and the wonderful benefits that you get. Uh, Jocelyn, I, I have a lot of questions, but first... Uh, <laughs> I have all the questions. So, <laughs> so many things I want to know. Um, how, how then does, does Lutheran teaching and doctrine get woven into all of these classes since this is a Lutheran classical education online? Absolutely. So it starts with having Lutheran teachers, right? And so all of our teachers are Lutheran, and they uh, they they subscribe uh, not only to the scriptures and the Lutheran confessions, um, but they also are committed to being in the divine service and being filled and um, and nurtured in their own faith. Um, outside of their teaching. So that's that's number one, that we have Lutheran teachers who like being Lutheran and, and want to teach Lutheranly. And so starting from that foundation, then all of our curriculum is, is time-tested through that lens, right? Um, does it adhere to and abide by scripture? And... Um, Within that, uh, so that covers our entire curriculum, um, whether it's math or uh, science or philosophy or whatever the case may be, we are approaching things from the foundation of, of the scriptures and Lutheran doctrine. Beyond that, then, specifically um, from a catechetical point of view, um, our 
chaplain sends out daily devotions and we use as our foundation for our um, catechetical uh, approach and guidance, uh, the Treasury of Daily Prayer, which is a phenomenal resource uh, that I would commend to all of your listeners. Um, and then in addition to those daily devotions, he also prays Vespers live um, for our student body. And that uh, includes not only our sixth through 12th grade uh, scholars, but also the families utilizing our grammar school curriculum um, for K, uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. Tell us more about the, uh, the grammar school program, the, the grammar school classes. Absolutely. So the curriculum is available to families free of charge. Um, the only thing that comes at a cost is if they would like to use our faculty taught Latin classes, but otherwise our grammar school curriculum is, is free of charge. Families, uh, need simply sign up, uh, to receive access to that. And once they sign up, then they'll receive a login. And on the other side of that login are lesson plans for, uh, for each grade level covering all of the content areas. And families or brick and mortar Lutheran schools can utilize those um, to teach their uh, young people in a classical way. I think I heard you say that it's free. That is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that wow. It, it, it is free. Uh, we, we didn't want uh, a, a lot of folks, even here now today, are exploring this idea of a classical Lutheran education. Mm -hmm. and, and, and sometimes in that process of exploration, you need, you need to get your foot in the door. And what is, what is better? I mean, we really believe that this is the way that, that scholars should be taught and scholars should learn and teachers should teach. And so we want to equip families and schools to be able to do that um, or at least to get their foot in the door to explore it. And, and some families get in the door and they, they love it. And, and some families get in the door and they decide, you know what, this, this isn't quite what we need. But either way, they've been exposed to it, which is a beautiful thing um, to be able to provide families the opportunity to give their, their young scholars enduring things because we want them, as I said before, uh, we want them to endure not only this side of heaven, but also um, in life eternal. So a family that wants to explore homeschooling, the, they can find the, they can sign up for the curriculum for free. And then they would, I, I gather, buy the, their own materials, their own books and materials and things like that. To... Right. So the books uh, that we uh, have on our reading lists are those books that you would want in your family library anyway. Um, they are enduring texts and we encourage families to utilize the literature portion, the reading list portion of, of our curriculum as family reading time. And so mom or dad sits down um, and, and reads to the family or the, the scholars and the parents take turns reading, but, but making that a very family-oriented thing rather than something that you test or, or whatnot. Um, and then along with that, um, along with uh, receiving lesson plans for every day, you know, so it, it's, it's broken down day one, two, three, four, five of, you know, kindergarten history and geography. And so on, on day one, do this on day two, do this. And so it's really, you know, kind of an, uh, you, you open the box, not literally a box, <laughs> but you, <laughs> you, you open the box and, uh, and, and you receive lesson plans that can guide you each day. It gives discussion, uh, points and, and all of these, all of these sorts of things, um, some of the resources, like the math texts and, and all of that, we've made available on lulu.com. So families wanting to have things in print, but perhaps don't want to print everything out on their home printer, um, can purchase those texts just for the price of uh, the cost of printing through lulu.com. That is such a great opportunity for families. Uh, that's so cool. So then 
so then how uh, and you talked a little bit about this already how then does the the junior high uh, and high school course offerings how, what does that look like then in a, in a day-to-day offering absolutely so in a similar fashion um, scholars receive login credentials and that is you know if if you were going to a brick and mortar school you'd go in the front door right And so for our scholars, uh, they log in and then they are in Wittenberg Academy and they'll find each of their classes on their their dashboard. Um, Their teachers communicate with them, not only through the classroom, but also through email. Um, But there's a lot of flexibility within a Wittenberg Academy Scholars Day. And so we always encourage you know, that they start their day with, we, we send out the devotions every day at 6 a.m. So um, unless, uh, except for our scholars that are studying uh, around the world, uh, sometimes time zone <laughs> doesn't match up. So they might use it as their evening devotions instead of, instead of their morning. But we encourage them to utilize the treasury of daily prayer um, and our, the devotion that our chaplain provides to start their day. And then from there, you know, maybe they have a, a lecture appointed for that day in their math class or a lecture uh, appointed for that day in their Paideia class, which is our literature, history and theology uh, class. And so they would watch that lecture and take notes on real paper using real pencils and pens. <laughs> we always <laughs> encourage we encourage uh, that. Um, and then uh, they but they don't sit at the computer all day. And in, in my new scholar orientations that I do with families, I, I emphasize that quite heavily, that you do not, even though you are going to school online, you, you don't need to sit on the computer all day. You need to be on the computer to watch lectures. You need to be on the computer to engage in uh, asynchronous discussions where your teacher has posed a question and, and you respond. Um, but you don't need to sit there all day waiting for your classmates to respond. Maybe set uh, you know, you, you check once in the morning and once in the afternoon and, and maybe once in the evening. Um, but when you do your math, you know, you don't have to sit on the computer. You can have your math book in front of you and, and do your assignment on real paper and, and then scan that or take a picture of that to submit that assignment. Um, and so it's, it's, a, it's, it's an online education that, that heavily emphasizes uh, the offline component if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So for the junior high and the high school course offerings, there, there is a, a, a tuition or a fee that the, the families would pay for that, correct? There is, there is. And we're actually coming up uh, here in, in 2020, we're coming up on our new scholar uh, tuition discount deadline, which is August 15th. Um, and so families uh, who register f- for a full-time schedule uh, by August 15th uh, can receive a 20% discount, which is uh, a neat opportunity to, to help and support families. Um, and so that takes the cost from $400 a credit down to $320 a credit, um, which uh, in, in my world, uh, every dollar counts. <laughs> and so, uh, so being able to, our, our generous benefactors have, have uh, given us that opportunity to do so uh, for families to try us out and hopefully um, become a, a part of the, the Wittenberg Academy family, which it really is a family. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a joy to, um, to be part of the lives of families all over the world and also to bring like-minded youth together from all over the world. It really is a beautiful thing. We have just about just a, about a minute left. Can you paint a picture for us of how that that sense of community and that that, that family of Wittenberg Academy really develops some opportunities for that? Absolutely. So it starts with a common confession, and from there, with the, from the common confession, they're also engaging in a common endeavor, and their classes are their common endeavor. Um, so whether they're part time or full time. Um, they are engaging in this journey together. And that bonds you. You know, anytime you have an experience together, you, that bonds you together, whether you live in the United States or in Africa or uh, somewhere in Asia, uh, in Europe, um, we're, we're bringing these, these scholars together in a common confession and a common endeavor. 
and they're being equipped together to serve their neighbor um, in all of their vocations, this side of heaven. So this certainly happens in class, in discussions, in live sessions, um, but it also happens in Table Talk Cafe, which is our student lounge, or in Philosophy Club, which is um, an opportunity for um, just our high school students, our German Conversation and Translation Club, which, you know, for our scholars who have taken German, they, uh, they get to work on, on their conversation skills uh, beyond what they do in class. Um, and more, more uh, opportunities are being planned for this, this upcoming year at the request of our scholars. They like hanging out with each other, and it's a really cool thing. Um, and so sometimes this translates to road trips, hanging out with one another, diverting family vacations to have lunch with fellow scholars, uh, or attending our Wittenberg Academy family retreat that happens every spring. Wittenbergacademy.org. Check it out. We'll share the link in the program notes today as well. Mrs. Jocelyn Benson, head teacher at Wittenberg Academy. Thank you so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. It's been fin fantastic to be with you. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at kfuo.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere.